today we shall be talking about some of the things you can consider when you are buying a second hand or used car in Uganda. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel EA Vlogs. My name is Akabuai Edmond, a Ugandan born and raised in Uganda. So many times when you come in a foreign country, you may want to purchase yourself a vehicle just to try and ease transportation. But now there are two, you know, there are two ways that you can get yourself a car or maybe anything else in wherever you may go. So mainly you can get from an individual or a dealership. Now there are so many circumstances under which people sell their cars. Some are trying to settle an emergency, maybe they want to settle a bill, maybe they want to settle a medical bills or something like that. And then some just want to get rid of the car. And then you may find yourself falling victim of a, a car that is damaged beyond repair, where it needs a lot of maintenance to keep it on the road. Now today I want us to talk about what are some of those considerations that you should follow if you want to purchase a vehicle in Uganda. Now, vehicles that are used on Uganda street, most of them come from outside countries that are already used, okay? But then above that, there are also cars here in Uganda that have been used by fellow Ugandans, and they also try to sell it to their other people that may be interested. Now, you may be a foreigner, you're new, you're new in the country, and you may want to go and also purchase a vehicle to try and use transportation as you are here. Now, there are a few things I want us to look at, a few considerations that I feel you should take, you should take note of before buying a car, okay? Just to make sure that you're getting something worth the value of your money. The first and foremost uh, recommendation I would uh, advise you is please do not rush. Don't be in a rush when you're trying to purchase a vehicle because most of the time when you rush, you tend to get, you don't put in a lot of consideration when you are rushing to get something. Now, most of the time, why I say you shouldn't rush is you will not consider some of the things that I am going to mention in, in this video. Most of the time you look at the exterior of the car and be like, oh, I think this is a nice, you know, this is a nice car for me. Then that leads us to the next, uh, you know, to the next consideration. They are kind of related. Always make sure that's the second consideration that you should have in mind. Always have a pre-checkup of the, of the car. What do I mean? Get your mechanic or if you have, if you know somebody, now this one is for foreigners who may not know a specific mechanic here in Uganda. Try and search around. If you have a friend, they get you a mechanic who knows what he's doing so that they make sure that they check for the basic, you know, the basic uh, components of the car, like the condition of the car. They will be able to, to tell you and give you the right, you know, the right uh, information concerning the car. If there are missing parts, if there are certain things that need to be checked and all that okay now if you are buying a car from a dealership that one is different from when you're buying a car from an individual now most of the people go online then they check a website and stuff like that now if you get a dealership a company a bond a car bond that is selling you the car this is the third suggestion that i would give you make sure that the company is validated by the government okay look for things like the certificate of incorporation and their trade license because you wouldn't want to be in a place whereby you bought the car today then maybe you face some difficulties uh, you know you then you may want to go back and and make inquiries only to find that that company has never existed so make sure that you, you are certain that this company or the carbon where you are trying to purchase the car from is valid. Okay, you can always ask for their paperwork just to, just to confirm. The fourth consideration that you should also have in mind is always feel free to talk to the dealership or the owner about, about giving you time to do a test drive. 
Now when I say a test drive, I'm not meaning that you drive the car around then you take it back. If maybe if you are trying to buy a car from a dealership or from an individual and they are sure of what they are selling, they are not just getting rid of the car, they won't hesitate when you tell them that okay, give me a guarantee because most of these guys have dealt with some of them and not many of them like giving you time to you know to do a test drive because you will get to know the real condition of the car so if somebody hesitates when you tell them to give you the car or give you a warranty a guarantee of six months for you to use the car in case you have any medical or mechanical difficulties then you take back the car if they hesitate on doing that then please i would advise you find another dealership because they would be that category of those people that are just trying to get rid of the car because unless you test drive the car by yourself you won't be able to know exactly the condition of the car leaving alone just the exterior you must know what's going on in the hood now the fifth consideration that you should have in mind is you should complete the transaction and this shouldn't be just shaking hands with the dealership and making payment transfer is what i'm talking about you must make sure that you have made the transfer to your names or to the name of your organization just to be on a safe side and because you may buy a car when it's stolen now that will help you get uh get the car from the previous ownership to the current one who is who is you now those have been some of the considerations that when you are going to buy a car in uganda you must have in mind because I don't want you to come and get a fake product just because you are looking for means of transport. Many a times you purchase a car, then it takes, you spend more than actually you even bought the car with. And most of the time, these dealerships or individuals know the real problem that the car is facing and they don't choose to tell you. Now, those are some of the, you know, the considerations that you have to make when you are purchasing a car in Uganda. Now, if this video has been educating, informative, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to spread the, you know, spread the information. And you don't know whom you may be benefiting, but so many people have been cheated with their money not having this basic knowledge. Now, see you on the next video. Love you. Bye.